It's back. The storm tracker. That's right. We're out on the road. Uh, Fellows Lake today. Beautiful day to be out on the lake. I mean, temperatures got close to 70 this afternoon. And while there was a lot of high cloudiness this afternoon, it still felt really nice out there. It wasn't overly windy. Uh, again, temperatures the warmest that we've seen so far this year. In fact, today was the warmest day since the middle of November. And uh, we're wrapping up the day looking like this. Not a bad way to start off the month of February. Uh, today's high 68 in Springfield, the record high 84 degrees back in 1911. We didn't have a chance at getting close to that, uh, but still very warm for this time of the year. The average high 46 and it looks like tomorrow's going to be even warmer. Now I mentioned earlier there were a couple of spots that did set record high 72 in Joplin beating the old record of 70 last set back in 1992 and we tied the record high in Vichy at 69 degrees last uh, set back in 1974. Notice you're going, well, how did we get to 84 in Springfield and we didn't do that in other, other places? Keep in mind, Springfield's database or record database goes way back into the late 1800s. Uh, you can see Harrison, Arkansas did have a record high also of 82 today set back in that same year of 1911. So that was a really warm start to the month of February. Here's the setup right now. It's quiet. We've got a lot of high cloudiness spilling across our skies. We've got an area of low pressure off to the west, uh, north of Wichita. Running east from that area of low pressure, we do have a boundary, and this is going to play a bit of a role in our weather because it's going to act as sort of a dividing line between chillier air to the northeast and spring-like air to the south of that boundary. Also tomorrow, like we saw today, we're probably going to have a wave of high cloudiness. We're finding some of this high cloudiness over western Texas, but it doesn't look very thick. And I think that plays a role in how warm we're going to get on Friday. The potential was there to get even warmer across our area, but we had a lot of high clouds during the afternoon. I think Friday is actually looking brighter than what we experienced today. And I think that opens the door for us to get close to 70 tomorrow afternoon. Overnight tonight looks quiet. Uh, tomorrow we will have, I think, mostly sunny to partly sunny skies. Uh, as we work through Friday night, it stays dry. Skies will be partly to mostly cloudy, and I think that there will be some sunshine Saturday morning, but the clouds will thicken up as we work through the afternoon. And notice rain starts to creep into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. And by the end of the day, by late afternoon, I do expect some light rain here in Springfield. And that area of rain will continue to expand northeast overnight Saturday night so that most of the area on Sunday at different points during the day will have wet weather and colder temperatures than what we have on Saturday. That's why I was saying I think this is going to be a half and half weekend. As far as rain totals through the weekend, uh, we're going to soak the area with generally a quarter to three quarters of an inch, but I think there are going to be some places to the south and to the west of Springfield that probably hit that one inch mark. Uh, temperatures tonight dropping into the 40s. Highs tomorrow, this is what you want to see, or at least is what I want to see. 70 degrees. Uh, looks like 70 in uh, places like Joplin and Stockton and Branson. Areas to the northeast, just a hair cooler. Uh, Saturday, uh, looks like our mildest readings will be to the northeast, where it looks like low to mid-60s. We're going to be around 60 in Springfield with 50s to the southwest. And then Sunday, again, uh, a, a damp and colder day, a day where you're probably want to stay indoors with highs in the mid to upper 40s across the area. But better weather returns next week. We're back in the 50s on Monday. I think we're back up around 60 on Tuesday. And I think we're well into the 60s again Wednesday of next week. Guys? All right, Jamie. Parts of